Is this the leech's work? Yeah. New corpses every day. How many bodies is that now? A score have been uncovered. Definitely the leech's work. How can you be sure? Their eyes are scooped out. Black, empty caverns. Same as Trigger's gods. Must be hundreds of people passing by here each day. Anyone see them dumped? It's the riverbank, Winner. Every crooked dealing in this city goes through here. Stowe has seen the same. It is not only the ducks. How is that Sparrowheart? I worry for him. Soft, but unsullied. He helped me find Avgos, and that is enough. Avgos? I had a hunch or two about that arse blister. Should have acted. Any hunches about the leech you want to share? Erke! Tell me it wasn't her! It wasn't your daughter, dear Keda. Take a breath. Oh, thank Freya. I have such a fear I will find her down here. She works errands for a smith who sends her to these docks. Most times at night. I cannot stand it. When did she go missing? A few days back. Left after sundown. Never came home, my Regna. Gods, if I could see her again. I haven't seen her in two days, and feared the worst. In London, you must always fear the worst. What sort of job did she have? Ran errands and the like. She would make a delivery, trade it for hack silver, and scurry back to her smithy. Do you know the name of the man? Name. But I wish I did. I would box his ears and harvest his nuts. Anything else you remember? I had a neighbor once tell me she saw Regna, lingering for a time under the London Bridge. Worried me sick hearing that. That is a good place to start. Thank you, Gila. A shady smith. A missing child. It's a leap with some weight. London Bridge after sundown. It's worth a look. Good. I'll hang about here and keep things calm. And Eivor, don't drop your guard around these ducks. Do I look like one who could? Evil world of God is on each night, yet faith and... 
Best follow him, see where this leads. Best wait until nightfall. <laughs> Surveying the area.
use that? Stretch your wings, Sunan.
do you see? You got the purse I'm out. Huh? Who the fuck are you? I'm a friend, Doya. Your money is with your lad. What have you to do with him? I'm keeping him safe. Had a fear he was being followed. Tch, I knew he was soft. Not like my other girl. She was hard as hog's breath, that one. What happened to her? Fell ill a few days back. So I sent her to good Sister Friedeswith, healer in town. Sister Friedeswith? Got broken bones? A boil on your bum? Or too much birth blood? She'll mend you quick. She would need a broad set of tools for such work. She would, and she has it. Comes to me for all her wants, and I craft for her what she needs. Not anymore, you don't. We are attacked! Ah. Send them to Odin! Best brace my own here. Please, please. My aunt came here for her cough. She never returned. It's been days. I must see her. Get out and don't come around here again. Be my eyes, Sunan. This is where the leech dissects her prey. Don't 
Go, Zulin. What's that about?
In for the kill! <laughs> One more, that's all. I'm nearly finished. That is enough. Oh, it's you. For all the dead we collect, dear sister, you and I are equals. Quite a charnel house. I I'd lost count of how many. I suppose I've been greedy in my research, but not for lack of care. The ancient ones. The Arbiters. They built us out of simple pieces. So easy to break. So difficult to mend. There must be an improvement. We should be stronger. Faster. Smarter. I could have fixed us. I could have made us better. We are blood and bone and spirit, Frida Swift. Perfect as we are. You've such beautiful eyes. Finish it. Would you?
It is done. Ah! The leech is bled out. And did you catch a name? A nun. Name of Frida's with. What? The good sister? That can't be right. She was a saint. A healer and a... <laughs> God! That brick fits this week's wall of shit. You knew her? She saved me. Mended the broken leg. Thought I'd lose it. But not with Frida's way. You wouldn't know it was ever broken. The sands will run backwards now. Without her, we'll return to balancing humors. All of that for this. Secrets of the human form. How she saved lives. And how she ended them. It might be the ravings of a madwoman. Not every problem has a clean solution. True. Very true. I've built my name selling the hard fix. I'll live with it. This was her fix. All her ideas and discoveries written here. Ill-gotten gains. I have a mind to burn that bloody tome. Is that the right call? It has cures for everything, from boils to broken bones. It is worth keeping. We fight wars to save those we love, and pay in blood for what we win. This book... This is your good sister's battlefield. Her kingdom. You may be right. We can't return the dead to life. But their sacrifice can mean something. If you need me, I'll be at St. Paul searching for something on the compass. Thanks for all this, Broca. Some surly guests outside. Eivor! We were... Uh, we, we didn't see you enter. It is about time you found each other. Stop tiptoeing around it. Yes. 
I've found Stowe, and he's found me. And, uh, and here we are, together. Have you stepped out today? There's a strange feeling brewing in the streets. I've heard the shouts. The deaths of Avgos and Frieswith have angered many. Let us hope the Compass numbers among the offended. I don't doubt it. But are we ready for him? It is time we focused on the Compass. Gather all we know, and lay it out, plain as day. Aye. We let fly the feather dart. Cut raven ink from a cowering quill. Now we wait, wolf tensed, for the master of the river Rep to return and revenge his shaken warriors. Well, well. This one's got the gift of all in's meat. What is on your mind, Stowe? We know the Compass is a sailor. A captain from Francia. And he won't like hearing he's got a leak in his hull, so to speak. With the death of the leech and the arrow, you want to hit back. But we can't know how or when. Apart from this, the man's invisible. Coward, if you ask me. Burn in your hell, you bloody reeves! We're pinned in! Is there another way out? The tower! There's an open window they can't have reached! I'll go up. You find a way out. Oh! <laughs> 
I had a view of the city from the roof. There's a new flotilla in the harbor. The compass. Bastard. If we commandeered the Springles at Avgos boot, we could rain a cloud of arrows on the invaders. I'd sooner take the flank and go around this army to the boats. If we cut the head off this beast, the Order's men will be easy to rout. Let us focus on the compass. Kill him and the battle's won. I can lead you straight to him. Through the reeds, like Stos Moses. Whatever happens, this ends tonight. May God guide our souls and cover our backs. Don't be reckless, little boys. We'll see you when it's done, Erke. Count on it. Yes, sir! Look out for Follow me. I know the path straight to the ducks. We'll be able to flank them. Burning. Take this path. You'll avoid most attention. I'll give you cover when I can. enough to fall an ocean. You've stolen me from Frankia! <laughs> Will none of you lift a finger? None of you lift a finger to aid your master! Burning to ash what you cannot possess, that is a child's way out. To hell with London. Boudicca was right to burn it to the ground. It's a brick and mortar shithouse. So bright and beautiful, set aflame. Will you rule over these cinders now? Yoke its people to your whims and needs? You do have power here. Power you have earned. I have finished my work in London. That is enough. <laughs> London is only a beginning. 
My order reaches further than your tiny boats can take you. Never forget, Trigger, my old friend. A man at sea may have gold and glory. But he is always a slave to the churning tides. We are that tide. Sunin, guide me. The Drenger we must thank for our good fortune. How do I look? Half drowned and half burnt? Not half of either. And far better for the blood on your blade. The compass is dead. London is yours to wreck or rebuild. We will rebuild. We'll strengthen the walls, reunite families, and likely use less wood, more stone. <laughs> Ill-timed, Erke. I'd like a quiet moment to pray. We'll take it together. Until our next meeting. I trust you will heed my call if I should send for you. You came to London in search of a friend, Eivor. You found two. Aye, Broga. And you deserve this. A silver ring for your raven perch. It was Trickers before he gifted it to me. I say you've earned the right to wear it now. I'm touched, Eke. I will carry it with pride. Randy. Let's tell her the good news. Hello and welcome.
happy to take this off your hands. Finished looking around? I'm off. Be well, friend. See you, old friend.
You see, Have a look, Sunan.
should speak with Hytham. Hey there! How are you? Good to see you, darling. London is with us, and cleansed of the Order. Good. Hytham will be pleased. Come to me. I want to see the Alliance map. What of Oxenifordshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. I should join my brother, then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenifordshire. Sigurd will be pleased to see you. them about my next targets. The Order has been purged from London. For now, they hold no power there. That is good news. And I would celebrate, but for the fact that Jorvik now suffers from the same infestation. 
Jarvik is a city under Norse control. I should have less problems finding allies there. That is a hopeful way of seeing it. Speak to Ranvi when you wish to travel there. Do you need something? Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. Ah, good. I hope this one did not give you too much trouble. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. Thank you. I expect there are yet more to claim. I have to go. Then go in peace. Soldiers are tightly wound.
Aid me. Be my eyes. Always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I am asking a simple question. Look, Dane. You start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. You seem to respect this man, Giedrich. If he was talking to my brother, it's because he wants what's best for this Shire. Maybe you're a woman who also wants Axenifort Shire to be free and to decide its own fate. A woman will stand up for her village, who won't be crushed under the boot of oppression. I hope I am. Such a woman would help me find Giedrich's friends. You're right, you are. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window there and scampered off towards the river. It's a good bet they hid in one of them fish houses. <laughs> Sigurd and Basim headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. Stretch your wings, Sunan. We could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolkist. Why so unnerved, brother? It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with the Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with a promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. 
Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods. All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount a surprise strike. If Giedrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Sigurd, has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my war credit? I heed Basim's wisdom, but he follows my lead, always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature, for he is wise and forthright, and he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible, it will shatter your mind to shards. Brother, our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the lords of Mercia and all of England. But Basim has a deep insight. He's read wisdom in the lines of my face and heard the litany of my forefathers and... Well, there will be time enough for my saga later. Drinking all rocks. Step off. You'll see for yourself. Is that a bottomless stomach? I see. You win if you can down it faster than me. Let's see the shimmer of your silver, friend. I'll drink to that. We drink. Come, raise a cup and lose some silver. You're going to start.
Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex, begging for his army. Clap your mead hull, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex, and that poxy-ass bastard Alfred. We won't have it. You're not the elderman here, Lady Eatman. Turn around and walk away, and we'll leave you be. You heathenish fork-tongued Dane. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd, of the hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms, free my friend here, and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, wait face. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. Ooh, that's right. 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 What have they done to you? Over here. What kind of mess did you get yourself into? Don't tie me! I can still fight these bastards! Don't survive! You fool! To fight. You should have freed me. Giedrich, this is Aver, my stone armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Aver, not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Giedrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to Where talk with... Where is she? Fane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands. But he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leich Vila garrison. Basim! Eivor! To horse!
Off again, Aver. You and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Basim spoke of? An ally, Aver. A most important ally. A holy woman who trades in prophecies and secret knowledge. That is not the sort of alliance we're looking for, Sigurd. No, it's even better. You cannot imagine what discoveries await. You're speaking strangely, brother. Because I'm alive, Eivor. My heart's alight with the fuel of battle fire. Like old times, eh? Yes, Sigurd. Like old times. Remember our hunts beyond the Northern Way? Our first big kill was a ten-point deer. We brought it down together. The arrows from our bows like darts of ice. With sharpened chin bones for skinning the beast. You on the right, me on the left. We leapt and struck. We crashed to the ground like a felt tree. Then, with bloody struggle. Damn animal bit my hand. Never knew a buck could bite so hard. But I pierced its throat, spilling its life wine into the drifts. That put an end to him. Such tales you siblings tell. It's just one of a thousand, Basim. It was the glorious dawn of our lives. You haven't yet explained who this Fulke woman is. When the time is right, I will. She is the fulcrum of a larger plan. Above conquering England. What larger plan could we need? Patience, Ava. Patience. Fine. Keep your dread secrets, brother. If this alliance fails, you would take them to your grave. This fever will break once you know the whole truth. I promise. New requests have come in while you were away, Eivor. We're always looking for help, so come back any time. <laughs> 